guys, y'all see that on that stick right there? The lack of rainfall we've had lately, I haven't hardly seen any amphibians. Now we did finally get a good rain shower and I've been fortunate enough to find quite a few amphibians in the last few days. Um, here's a brief run through of what we found. Now first off we have this here green tree frog. Just look at how stunningly brilliant the colors are on this guy. Guys we found us a native species. This is the green tree frog. He's an arboreal species and uh, he's a very agile climber. He has a sticky coat on him that's to help ward off predators and he jumps. All right, if you look real closely, it almost looks like the ground's moving. And basically what we have is, since we've got this rain, tons and hundreds of toads have come out. Now this is a cane toad species. It's a native species here in Florida, and they do secrete a slightly toxic secretion from glands on top of their head. That secretion is toxic enough to ward off any potential predators, especially in larger toads. Now these small ones really only make it due to the sheer numbers you see. Now this is an adult cane toad. The cane toad can get sometimes as large as an orange and you get a better idea of just what those glands actually look like on the top of the head there. Um, they're pretty obvious and uh, any predator that may have run into them in the past would sure be weary next time they run into it again. I'll at least get this one. Alright we got him. Alright so we got a we got a true salamander here. So Right here we got us a Florida salamander. Well, salamanders are very sensitive creatures. Now like most amphibians, this is a slimy creature and that helps it keep its skin moist and ward off potential predators. Now this salamander had already undergone an attack and survived. As you can see his tail was lost in some kind of an incident. And uh, as you see the salamander is still getting around just fine and uh, will live out a full life. Now that's the wonderful thing about amphibians that have that adaptation where they're able to shed a tail or a limb and still get on just fine. Go ahead and press that subscribe button and you'll be notified when new episodes come out. I recommend going back and checking out some of our previous episodes like the channel trailer so you can see what this channel is all about. And stay tuned for more great wildlife footage. There's tons more where this came from and press that like button. Every like really does help. Be sure to tune in this Friday where I'll take on the cow killer and induce a sting from this wicked insect. Now this is the fourth most painful sting in the insect kingdom.